All right, YouTube. I just got in my uh, Nitro Plane F-18 Hornet, the Tiger one. Here's the box came in today. This is the one I got. Uh, we're gonna open it up, and uh, this is the almost ready to fly because I have all the electronics. So uh, basically, it's not ready to fly. So I'm gonna put it together, and uh, I'm gonna take everything out of the box and uh, let's see what's inside. All right. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I took everything out of the box and out of the bags and um, wow, let me tell you, this plane, the details on this plane is ridiculous. Um, this, the foam on this, it's like hard as wood. Look at the details. They also have vent holes here for the wind to cool off your ESCs, which is really nice compared to the other one that I got uh, that didn't have any. Um, the bottom also the details and uh, the hatch where the EDF fan goes in it's got magnets underneath so it locks in it's very easy no screws um, these are all the components that came with it the fins the elevators the wings the missiles drop tank sidewinders ESC cover for the bottom canopy they gave you a little guy which is really nice uh, servo extensions, push rods, and everything else, wheels, and for your servos, um, glue, cone, the cone, guys stuff this up so it gives the cone a little bit heavy, so it doesn't like be flimsy, uh, the fan unit, I'm gonna put this baby together, and then I'm gonna make another video once it's done, but I can't wait. She looks really nice. Really nice. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, basically, uh, this kit had to come with two halves so you could run your uh, wires and everything inside the frame. But uh, this came glued. So what I had to do is, with this servo, is I had to make a hole right over there. And then, with a hot wire... I had a trim inside so I could run the wires through also on this side and where the wings were are going to be going I had to make a hole so I could run the, the y, uh, servo wires on both sides okay and they're going to come in through there see so I think you see it right there and right there so also on the wings okay on the wings where the servos go what I did is I uh, cut down the groove here okay and I lined it up with the frame here so you won't see it and then what I did is I saved these pieces that I cut out so they'll go on top so it hides the wire Okay, like this, so you won't see the wire, which looks really good. Uh, I also did it on the other one. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna put this together and then I'll make another video. All right, everybody, I finished it up, put everything on it. The missiles, they came gray, so what I did is I painted them so they could uh, be all one. Uh, color so it can match the plane these are the missiles these came gray so I painted them so the plane looks really nice uh, basically what I did is um, I put all the wiring in the plane so you don't actually see it on the outside on the wing or anything else see there's the servo and there's no wire so it's over here no wire everything passes inside over there my EDF is going in um, I'm gonna put my EDF in here I'm just waiting for the for the motor to arrive I'm gonna put this here okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a tube 
so I won't lose any air inside here so I could actually get more power, more torque. So I figured if on my other plane I did it and it gave me a little bit more speed and uh, basically like this what happened is all the air is running out so it actually slows it down a little bit so I'm going to build a little tube here which will go inside here so it will only go directly out but that's coming in Tuesday and here the missiles came out good little polka dots little squiggly lines I like it the canopy I didn't glue it on I screwed it one here one here velcroed inside really really tough so if I want I could access inside the servo if I have to work on it and everything so I don't have to like cut it out um, yep she's beautiful I'm waiting for my 90 millimeter EDF FA18 61 inches can't wait this is 38 inches so it's really nice I like it um, if the wind permits maybe next week I'll give it a maiden flight my other one that I flew the FA18 the regular one um, 25 mile an hour wind uh, didn't survive came in for a landing and it was really bad so uh, yep I'll show you the video on the other one alright everybody that's my uh, F-18 from bananahobby.com okay uh, it, it was nice it flew pretty fast very light uh, nothing compared to this one from Nitro Planes look at the details the details to this is unbelievable 200 times better than this one uh, this one is very tiny look at these side wings here very small compared to this uh, the ailerons are close here this is where they're supposed to be actually really nice material wise very 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 soft foam very cheap look this was my crash. Came out, came down. The wind took it. See you later. Hey, I had about 20 flights on this. Just don't fly. 20, 25 mile an hour wind, not good. This one very flimsy. Maybe this one is, I would say, three times stronger than this one. I'm not saying Banana Hobby's got gray planes. I've got a lot of planes from them also. It's just this one. It was good until I seen this one from Nitro Planes. I think I'll be getting my planes from these guys. And when they say hard uh, foam, EPO, they mean hard. It feels like plastic. Very nice. I love the details. You got the two air vents here which will cool off your uh, electronics um, <coughs> this one had none uh, yeah look you can tell it just bends this one oh my pressure nothing love it oh well I right, just wanted to show you guys uh, my other uh, F4 Phantom uh, from uh, Nitro Planes this is a 70 millimeter one um, also same material as this one really really hard really really hard like this one still didn't fly it uh, looks really nice really big 